Hello and welcome to another vlog. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Kian and I am a first year medical student. This channel is all about sharing the authentic version of what medical school is really like. I do this through vlogs and just sort of talking about all the things I'm going through. So if you want to get a better idea of what the Canadian med school experience is like, this is that story told from my point of view. Um, I work really hard to make new videos every Wednesday, so please subscribe so you don't miss any of those. And anyways, let's get to the vlog. This is my past week where I learned about the peripheral nervous system. Good morning! It is Monday. I'm not looking at the camera because I've got like my flashlight on because it's really dark out. And I will go blind if I do so. Anyways, it's Monday morning and it's the start of the week. We had orientation week last week. And now we are working on the peripheral nervous system, doing neurology type sort of things. I just did a workout with my friend Morgan at the gym. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the week ahead. So I will see you in a bit. Good evening, so I am all cuddled up in bed, nice and warm, Yee! and yeah, today was a good day, had an amazing CBL group, had great journal club, fell asleep in only one of the lectures today, and also, check it out, if you've seen my new like video ending, you will have noticed that the heart has been added to join the kidney, <sighs> yeah. Basically, the kidney is my favorite organ, but I think that if the kidney had a best friend, it would be the heart. Good morning! I feel like I look like Cindy Lou Who with my current hairdo. Anyways, it's Tuesday morning. I have the morning off, and then I have a concussion seminar in the afternoon, so I'm looking forward to just having some study time. <laughs> Hello, so I was just at Starbucks, did some studying, and before that I was at the hospital and we learned all about concussions. Um, something that I thought was really interesting is that concussions never show up on scans, so if you do a CT or an MRI of the brain, you won't see the damage to the brain um, on that sort of scan. If you do see any sort of damage, when you scan the brain, it means that something more serious than a concussion is going on. Um, I think something a little frustrating about concussions is that the diagnosis is not very clear cut. It's not like you look for a biological marker or you have like two of five symptoms and you definitely have a concussion. It really is variable depending on the individual. Um, so that was really interesting, but I think the good news about it is that concussions if they are diagnosed properly and they aren't something more serious, um, they can self-resolve. So they just heal themselves, you just rest, and your brain recovers. But <laughs> I'm not a doctor, I'm only first year med student, so if you are watching this and you hit your head and you think you have a concussion, please go see your family doc. This channel is me like explaining my experience and sharing cool things that I learned, but is absolutely not any substitution for seeking proper medical advice. Hello, it is Wednesday, it is lunch, I had CBL this morning, um, normally Wednesday mornings I wake up early and work out, but I think I went too hard on Monday and I just really needed to sleep in today, so I didn't do my early morning workout, but I am here at lunch because I'm determined to get the recommended 150 minutes of activity a week. Also, it is so cold, I'm like shaking. <laughs> Back to lecture. I'm late, as usual. Yeah, it's fine. Didn't anticipate not being able to find a parking spot. Nothing wrong with purple nervous system. Decreased tone. 
So I just made dinner, finished eating, and I'm heading out to Starbucks uh, to study with my friend and yeah, just do that fun stuff and get some prep done for tomorrow. So you may have noticed I talk a lot about prep in my vlogs, but I never talk about doing assignments. And that is because for the most part, in my medical school, we don't have any assignments. We only have an exam in the middle of the term and then a bunch of finals at the end. And that's basically our assessment. So prep means that for something like clinical skills, where we're learning how to do a practical examination or evaluation of the patient, you have to have read up on how to do that. Um, another thing that we prep for is CBL, which is case-based learning. Basically, we have a written case, eight students, and we discuss the case together in order to sort of come to a diagnosis and a treatment plan. But in order to do that, you again need to be prepared and have done your readings. Hello and good morning. Today is Thursday, which means I had the morning off. Um, instead of studying, I actually played some cello, which was so nice to take it out of its case again and just practice. My New Year's resolution was to try and play at least once a week. So we'll see how that goes. It doesn't sound like much, but once a week is actually quite a lot because med school is very busy. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna start studying now. Uh, this afternoon we are doing an ear, nose, and throat physical exam. So there's a lot of anatomy and different sort of tests you need to know for that. Um, if I finish my prep for that, I will start studying stuff from yesterday slash prepping for tomorrow. But that is basically what we have on the agenda for today. So yesterday I did heart surgery on this guy <laughs> because he had a little tear back here, but he is fully recovered. So I'm done my prep for clinical skills, learned all the landmarks, the ears, nose, throat, face, and all that fun stuff. Um, so I'm going to get ready to head to the hospital. Goodbye, Bucks. See you later. It is expected that we look professional so my bedhead look probably isn't the best idea so I am going to go and transform myself slight improvement hey I was gonna iron my white coat because it has more wrinkles than my brain but what do you know it would appear we do not have the time all right, so I got my lunch bag, my hospital bag, my white coat, my backpack, and my gym bag. Hopefully I am not forgetting anything. All right, so I made it to the hospital. I'm going to study for a little bit here, and then we will start our session in the afternoon. <sighs> so I'm back home. Just finished clean skills, doing ears, nose, and throat stuff. I got to do a scope, a nasopharyngoscope, which is really cool. It's basically a black wire that you put in the nostril and it goes straight to the back and down a little bit and then you can see the epiglottis and the vocal cords and just everything sort of in the back of the throat and nose area so that was really cool so we were at the cancer center so we got to see the radiation machines that the radiation oncologists use so that was really cool it's just like this giant very modern looking thing Looks a lot like a CT scanner and also a lot like an MRI. Um, yeah, so that was really neat. Another one of my New Year's resolutions is to be able to do 100 push-ups. Um, hopefully 100 push-ups in one setting, maybe with a break in between. But if I can get to 100 with no break, I think that would be amazing. For reference, my starting point was two push-ups. So I don't know how realistic this goal is, but anyways, I downloaded an app that's supposed to get me able to do 100 push-ups and I'm sticking to it. I'm doing it every second day, so I have a rest day and a push-up day. So yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. All right, the fun and games is over. I'm going to make myself a little chai tea latte and get into study mode. Hey. So vlogs are great. It's fun to kind of see what somebody goes through in a week, but I think it's kind of hard to see the overarching structure of what 
a typical week actually looks like. So I just want to take a moment and sort of explain my personal weekly routine. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I have classes from eight to five. It's really kind of all over the map what sort of classes. Tuesday, Thursday mornings, we generally get the morning off as protected study time. Um, Tuesday, Thursday afternoons, is either family practice or clinical skills and then on the weekends it's kind of a free-for-all but yeah that's my typical week and then I try to work out Monday Wednesday Friday mornings this usually means getting up around 5 30 in the morning work out 6 30 to 7 30 and then I have half an hour to get ready and go to class alrighty this is the end of the video if you made it to the end thank you so much um, also, please like watch for the next five to ten seconds because I've worked really hard on this new ending animation It's been in the last couple of videos, but you finally like got to see the inspiration um, And by pretty cool animation, I mean pretty budget, you know, I don't want to hype it or anything Anyways, don't forget to spread the love in your life and online and I will see you next week Bye.